What's up everyone? Welcome back for the next part of this game of Monopoly! Fuck yeah. Alright, in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm apparently high on cocaine. Alright, fantastic. Now then. <laughs> oh, good times with cocaine. Make your choice. You Although, the, <laughs> all joking aside, I'm not actually high on cocaine. I just want to make that abundantly clear. And it looks like Puck has just been fucked by Captain Fuckballs. So, looks like that's it for Puck. Yep, insufficient assets. And so, that is it for Puck. He is coming in fourth place. And that's definitely good for Captain Fuckballs, because now he's going to get his hands on yellow, and he's probably going to be able to straight-up hotel that bullshit right off the bat. So now the Captain is really going to start fucking bitches. And by fucking bitches, I'm talking about Rookie and Serena. Although, with Serena, that might be a little bit awkward, because she's like... Lucky for you, it's mortgaged. 12, no so... On this one. Yeah, pretty sure that's illegal. Pretty sure that makes Captain Fuckballs a pedophile. So hopefully at some point he'll get thrown in jail. Which luckily we're playing Monopoly so that can happen. Time to collect your salary. Yep, to speaking of fucking Serena. With a hotel, <laughs> I think that just happened. On the <laughs> okay. What's going to happen here? Oh shit, she can actually raise the money though, so she's not completely fucked, just mostly fucked. So it's okay. There we go. Alright, she's still got 11 bucks left, but she has literally zero assets left, so... She's pretty much fucked, but not completely fucked, so I'll let it slide this time. For Captain Fuckballs. Because again, fucking underage people is not a good thing. Let's see what Definitely happens. not a good thing. I just want to make that abundantly clear. It's an incredibly bad thing, and if you do that, you should be murdered for your sins. Like, publicly executed for your sins. Oh, shit. Didn't actually mean to do that, but it was. You know, I really think that they should not have actually done away with public executions. Like... Maybe not necessarily, like, lynchings, but I think there should still be public executions. I think that's a practice that should be brought back. Because there are some people that should just be murdered publicly. And humiliated in the worst possible ways before their death. I, I think they should bring back public executions. I just think they'd be really fun. Then again, that's because I'm fucking psychotic. Speaking of fucking psychotic, it looks like Serena is actually officially 110% fucked. So yeah, this is pretty much game over right here. Yeah, there's no way that Rookie is going to come back from this to, you know, somehow miraculously beat Captain Fuckballs. It's just not going to happen. Relax. It's in your portfolio. Could be interesting. All right, so I might as well have him try to unmortgage some of this shit. It'll cost you a bit. Of course, he doesn't have a whole shit ton of money right now. You could pocket. So I've got to be a little tiny bit careful. Don't have to be too careful though. It's looking pretty well developed here. Of course, again though, if he gets that one card that says "pay for all houses and hotels," then he is just straight up totally fucked. But barring something like that happening, I think Captain Fuckballs has this in the bag. Especially because of this, this is definitely going to help for Captain Fuckballs. Anyway, definitely doesn't help Rukia. How expensive will depend on the property. It's your property. Just enjoy. Might as well get another set going down on red. Fantastic. 
Rukia, honestly, at this point, is just screwed. There's no escaping it. The rules say landing on a property with a hotel is expensive. How expensive will depend on the property. Yeah, the thing that really made the difference in this game, Captain Fuckballs just got off to such a really good start and such a fast start. He got his Monopoly so fucking fast that... Nobody had any time to really compete with him. Because again, when you get your first Monopoly and get houses down within the first eight dice rolls of the game, it's really hard for people to compete with that. And then, yeah, he just got those two sets of houses down on light blue right away and, and just pretty much ran away with this game. does what it says on the board. Right now, the safest spot for Rukia is on the side that is uh, blue and green. Other than that, she's pretty much surrounded. So yeah, it really is only a matter of time at this point. If she lands on one of those yellow hotels, I think it's over. You rolled a double. You get another chance with the dice. It's your property. Just enjoy. The owner has more than one transport. It's a little bit to Rukia there. This is going to be one costly trip. I'm pretty sure that's just about game set match there. Rent with a hotel. Ouch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's game over. Yep, that's game over. All right, so let me read off the stats. So Puck came in fourth, Serena came in third, Rukia came in second, and the winner of this championship round is Captain Fuckball. So we're going to be seeing him again in the next championship round. And just to read off some stats, uh, Serena and Captain Fuckballs got thrown in jail the most times. They both got thrown in jail twice. So, yeah, not a huge game as far as getting to throw people in jail, but that's okay. Maybe next time I'll get to uh, put my foot up someone's ass and kick them right into fucking jail, and it'll be good. It'll be good. But unfortunately for Rukia, she has been... Fucked. And so Captain Fuckballs, the fucker of bitches, is the grand champion for tonight. A job well done. A job well done indeed. A winner, rich beyond your wildest dreams. Again, though, he got off to one of the fastest starts I've ever seen in any Monopoly game. That was that was just a well-played game by Captain Fuckballs. Well, guys, that's going to be it for me for tonight. So, as always, everyone, stay cool and rock on. This is Multi-Step signing off.